We have the adaptability of stress echo to a, a reasonable number of patients where there is concern for narrowings. And yes, these are the people that can't walk on a treadmill or, and what we have is an alternative. This is called a dobutamine stress echo. And a dobutamine stress echo is where we, through an infusion, an IV, during what would have been exercise, we give them an adrenaline-like drug called dobutamine. And we progressively give it to them under, under strict monitoring conditions. And we are monitoring everything during that, uh, you know, heart rate, blood pressure, symptoms. And we've also got the ability of monitoring the heart because while the patient is not exercising, we're continuously performing echocardiography. This is specifically used in people where the frail and debilitated, patients that have orthopedic conditions that it's just impossible. Patients with peripheral vascular disease that get pains in their legs or have had amputations of their, their legs. Uh, patients with uh, chronic severe lung disease. All of those people still have an opportunity to have um, coronary artery disease, but what uh, we can't do is exercise them. So what we do there is use dobutamine. It really is very safe. Uh, while uh, it may produce the feeling of palpitations and a little bit of anxiety, part of the reason that that occurs is because they're not exercising and huffing and puffing and what they're doing is laying there having an, an echo and feeling this uh, medicine go through and it's, it gives a, a feeling of a, a little bit of uh, their heart pounding because it causes their heart to go fast just like with exercise but without the other feelings of exercise so the patients generally concentrate a little bit more on that. It goes out of uh, the body very quickly over a period of a number of minutes. And what we do is we monitor the patient until we're really happy that it's out of the system. First of all, we don't require fasting for, it's not like fasting for a anesthetic. It is only for uh, three hours, um, but what we want to do is just to ensure the stomach is empty in case that there is any vomiting, uh, because if there is vomiting there is a potential of inhaling in into the lungs of uh, uh, stomach contents.